What's up, y'all? I'm here to talk about the barbarical buffs in this hack. Uh, as always, I want, I want to have a quick disclaimer to check out the description below and look at all of the other Pokemon buffs and changes, as well as the move sheet that took me several months to make. Uh, I have buffed and changed 600 plus moves in this hack, and those are a big deal when it comes to understanding how the Pokemon function now. Uh, in Barbarical's case, he's got a lot of awesome new tools. He actually has rock type moves that are tough claws boosted, which is awesome. Uh, he is one of several dozen, probably, I would. Doesn't might be an exaggeration, but there's definitely at least around 10 Pokemon with Tough Claws at this point, um, which is obviously a great offensive ability. Uh, not just, not only does it uh, give you a 30% boost to your contact moves, it also stacks with Stab, essentially making it almost like adaptability. It gives you a 1.95 times boost with Stab, uh, which is only 5% bigger than adaptability. And then, of course, it also boosts your non-stab uh, non moves as well. Uh, which is awesome. Very, very, very good uh, ability on Tough Claws. And then Intimidate is another ability I chose. You might be thinking, why didn't you give it something more fitting, like Technician or Expertise or Ruthless? I didn't give it Ruthless because Kabutops has Ruthless, so you can go check that out. It's another rock and water type with, uh, he has Ruthless Surging Strikes and, you know, all the 50% crit moves like Razor Shell and Jagged Edge and all that crap. He's got awesome, awesome moves and he also has to swim and is stronger than Barbaracle technically with Ruthless, but, and also the base attacks that wise, but with Tough Claws, obviously different story um but yeah i opted to go for intimidate on barbarical for his secondary ability reason being um i wanted an ability that fit him at least somewhat that was as good as tough claws because every pokemon on this hack is balanced to have two abilities that you can switch between constantly with that infinite usability cap so you get at the start so you can easily switch between you know tough claws intimidate uh and none of the other abilities would be really as worth switching to from tough claws technician is cool you know you got surging strikes you got excel rock and X, uh, aqua jet and rock blast and first impression those are the cool moves that are technician boosted but like it's not that much weaker than tough claws and you're also losing out on stronger base power moves with that so it's not that worth it i just think intimidate's really cool and i think it fits barbarical really well i just gave it to binacle too because why not who the fuck cares um and that's awesome on barbarical especially with the newfound bulk that he has um i didn't opt to boost speed up because he has actual ways to boost speed not only does he have priority in the form of aqua jet Accelerate rock and first impression and sucker punch he also has um rock polish which gives plus one accuracy as well as plus two speed which works great with inaccurate moves like surgeon strikes and stone edge both of which always crit and are 90 percent accurate um and as for, tech, as for Tough Claws, uh, boosted rock type moves, uh, he has, they're all 100% accurate. He has Jagged Edge at 36, which is a 50% crit move. So you slap a Scope Lens on with Razor Shell, Cross Trap Mates, Last Laceration, all those other moves. If you slap a, a Scope Lens on your Barbarico, it will always crit and those moves will go from 70 base power to 105 base power, which is pretty damn great. Um, better on Ruthless Pokemon, but it's still very, very good on Barbarico, um, for that point in the game at least. And then later on at 45, you'll get Boulder Bash, which is an 85 for base power, 100% uh, accurate rock type move that drops the defense by one always, which is very nice. Um, not that powerful when you when you actually realize that minus one defense is only a one third drop, so it's not like crazy strong on the second hit, but it's, it's still, I mean, with Tough Claws and Stab, it's a very strong move. Uh, and then you have Rock Climb, which is 110 base power. Uh, however, it does deal 20% recoil, but you can actually negate that recoil damage from Rock Climb, Play Rough, and Takedown with a Shell Bell, which now heals you by 20%. And you can also use Shell Bell with Wave Crash and Head Smash, which are other moves. Wave Crash, you will only take 5% recoil from Wave Crash, and you'll only take 10% recoil from Head Smash when you use uh, a Shell Bell, which is awesome. Uh, very, very good. And yeah, of course, those moves are other Tough Claws boosted moves. Uh, and that's, pretty, that's about it. You have four very good Rock type boosted, five very good Rock type boosted Tough Claws moves. Oh, I said that wrong, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, I forgot to mention Excel Rock is also Tough Claws boosted. Uh, yeah, every Pokemon on this hack has some form of priority move, usually several, uh, and that's no exception for Barbaracle. Two of them are reteachable in First Impression and Sucker Punch, which are really nice for certain situations, especially First Impression. You can tack that on and get a quick little kill if you switch it in. Uh, but yeah, Intimidate is, you can't sleep on Intimidate because 120 base attack with Tough Claws is equivalent to 171 base attack, if you do the math out, uh, which is obviously incredibly powerful, but uh, you're giving up the immense utility that Intimidate has. While crit moves will, you know, bypass your Intimidate drops, uh, Intimidate plus Parting Shot plus Sediment, the Sediment being Rock type Recover, which also heals you by two thirds in the sand. So Rebarco can go, can go great with a uh, Sand Ally or, uh, you know, buffed uh, Smooth Rock, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Even Z Stand Swim could be pretty cool, which gives you plus to defense. All kinds of fun things you can do. Um, but yeah, Intimidate is super great uh, with your 87, 115, 91 bulk. Uh, rock Water is not like, a stellar defensive typing but it does have solid resists um just obviously don't leave it in on 
I mean, don't try to use it defensively against things that are four times super effective on it. It's not that hard to do. Um, not to mention, if you're running faster offensive sets, you can always just hit those with a coverage move, of which he has many new ones uh, to choose from and switch between, depending on the situation. So it's also all really great. Honestly, Barbarical is just really fucking good. Solid, strong, decent speed stat again with those speed boosting options and those priority moves. Uh, those help out a lot as well. And then very, very bulky with Intimidate, he becomes super tanky. And then with Tough Claws, his 120 attack, which is already good, very good, uh, becomes 171 roughly. Um, with contact moves, of course. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave the video off there. I mean, they have other good utility options. Uh, Battle Cry drops the attacking stats by two, so you can use that with Intimidate and Parting Shot and just be a great utility Pokemon. It really, uh, I've said this in a couple other videos, but if you're playing Team Locked especially, you should be fulfill, you should be swapping your Pokemon and what they do around to make the most out of them, you know? So you can run them for defensive for some fights and offensive for other fights because you do have access to e uh, easy EV training items as well. You can use those to quickly switch around your EV spreads and run, a, you know, max attack, max HP, max attack, max defense, max speed, max attack, whatever you want to do, depending on the situation. Uh, Shell Smash is very late into the game. Uh, that's, you'll pretty much only have that for like Hapu, the League, a couple other really late game fights, and then obviously post game, uh, which is still good enough. Uh, keep in mind, you still have rock polish and priority moves to take advantage of before you get Shell Smash. Um, and setup is heavily nerfed in a lot of ways. Uh, there's a lot of strong priority moves flying around. There's priority phasing moves that will switch you out that will, or remove your stat boosts or even steal them. All kinds of ways that the AI will be dealing with setup sweepers, but in general, if you are smart with it, uh, even stuff like surging strikes will bypass focus sash and sturdy and all these other uh, anti setup things. So. Yeah, definitely uh, worth using for some point in the game uh, if you want that. Yeah, super sick. Really good bust for Barbarical. Really cool Pokemon in my opinion. Very underrated, very, very cool looking. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the description, excuse me, comment section down below what you thought. And again, I do Im uh, implore for you to check out that Google Sheet in the description and look at all the move busts and changes because I don't have time to cover them all in videos like this. Um, like the coverage moves and all, like all these little move busts and changes and what these moves do now, it's not feasible for me to cover them all in a video so yeah thanks so much for listening and i'll be back for more carlos pokemon coming up peace